All right, so I've got a pretty cool tool to show you today. It's called Ease Attendance. Uh, the website's easeattendance.com, and it's designed to uh, help you take attendance during class. Uh, there's a whole lot about it that we can look at, but I'm going to start out by showing you why you might want to use it, and then I'll talk you through how to get it set up. All right, if I log in here, it will take me into the dashboard. It looks something like this. It says no meeting has started. Now I'm going to start a meeting. I'll minimize that meeting. You'll see here that this meeting has shown up and that I am in it. it tells me when I joined as well, and it actually has specific rosters for this. So here it says I'm not registered because I didn't put myself on the on the roster, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, let a few more people join here. All right, so in my Zoom uh, waiting room, I've got a few students. I'm going to admit them now, and you'll see them show up in the list. So I admit them now, and as they join, you see them pop up on the list. Now, I don't have a roster in this class just yet, but I'm going to create one. Here, it just adds all of us into here. I don't like having myself listed as a student in the class, so I remove myself. But you can leave yourself on there if you like. When we finish this, you'll see the screen looks something like this. It tells you who is present, and it tells you if anybody that's not registered has, has showed up in your class. That's a good way to, to know uh, what's going on there. Now, one thing you can do as well is uh, you can always hit, if a new student joins in, you can hit this update roster, and it will assume everybody who's already in the class, plus anybody who is not uh, enrolled but is in the room, you would want to add them as a student. Uh, let's say, though, I wanted to add an additional student. We've got uh, Marie here. You can see that she shows up as absent because she hasn't joined the class. Uh, there's these different tabs that you can look at, present, absent, uh, in here as well. And that will help you keep track of who's in your classroom. Now, let's say uh, Marie Curie just popped up in the waiting room, so let's let her in. You will see now it shows that she's present and it updates the time. You can see, oh, she was almost two minutes late. Maybe I should mark her as tardy. Uh, as you go through class, maybe one of these uh, students is going to leave or something like that. Al always was a troublemaker. So if a student tries to sneak out of class, you'll hear that little alert that you normally hear when the student leaves. And if you look in Zoom, it doesn't tell you who's left. But if you look over at this list, it gives you this right here, left meeting. It tells you who left. And in this tab here, it will tell you that they're, they're gone. So I normally come into here for all at the beginning of class as I'm taking attendance. Um, so I can watch who's there, who's not there. Um, and then once I've taken attendance and put it into the gradebook, I just switch to the left meeting tab and leave that one open so that if anybody leaves, I see their name pop up on here. And then you know right away, and you can reach out to them, see if they have a connection issue or mark mark attendance as needed. Um, I also have had some issues with uh, like A day and B day students where you have some students in the room some day and some in the other room another day. And so what you can always do here is actually just say create new roster and that'll make a new one out of this list. Um, and you can say maybe, uh, maybe Al actually wasn't supposed to be here. He's, he's supposed to be in the classroom. He won't be on Zoom on this day. So I'll, I'll get rid of this one and I'll just call this like uh, the A day schedule. Maybe like uh, first period A day schedule. And so I can Save that one. And now if I switch to that schedule, the one a day schedule, it will show me now. Uh, well, it kind of goes through and it updates. And so this guy's not in here anymore. Let's let's uh, change this one more time. Let's say that uh, that Marie Curie is supposed to be at home, but Isaac Newton's supposed to be in school. 
Uh, so I won't have him on this roster. Now he shows up as not registered, which lets me know, well, he's on Zoom. I know he's in this class, but he didn't show up in person today. And this is kind of the way that I've been using this to, to help me know who's here, who's not here, how that all is going. Um, then I can have a separate roster for the A days, the B days. And if you wanted to, you can even make one that has everybody involved all throughout just to kind of give you a little bit more of a note of who's there and what's what's going on. All right, so if this sparked your interest, uh, you can take a look at the link uh, here with this video that takes you to this page, which is the getting started and setting up. Um, we've done a very good job of laying this out for you to make it easy. So um, if you do it this way, so there's two different options for this. You can either have different Zoom meetings for every class, um, and that would work for you. Uh, but if you are already set up where all of your students are coming to the same Zoom meeting for all of your classes, there is a workaround for that, which is uh, what I was just showing you, where you can make different rosters within the same class. And then you can just have them all come in there and just switch manually when you go from one class to the next. So here's the steps. You know, uh, when you are in uh, your, on your computer, you'll have to come in here and add this app to Zoom. So this takes you to the Zoom app marketplace. And so it'll take you to this page here, Ease Attendance. Uh, here it says sign in to install. So you'll sign in, you'll click this button, and it'll it'll uh, say like add to your Zoom account, something like that. And you know it, it does, then it sees your meetings. So it, it just gets who is attending each meeting. That's basically the information that they get from it. It's like every time somebody joins or leaves a, a meeting, or if you start or end a meeting, it just sends a, uh, a little message to them, and they display it on their website. Once you've signed up to this, it will, uh, I think it brings you directly to the uh, Ease website for you to create an account there, but this is the second step. On the second step, you're going to come here and click Sign Up. And here you're just going to create an account. Uh, it looks just like this. It's pretty self-explanatory at this point. Uh, and you'll get an email about it. You'll have to go through and verify your email. Then at that point, you're ready. The first time that you log in, you'll have an empty meeting. Uh, it'll say no meeting is started. You start a meeting, and your students will just start to populate. You can either do this automatically, have it just make the meetings for you, and then you can hit this update roster button, and it will then add them all to the roster. If you need to make a new roster, there's a new button here that says new roster, and it will copy the current roster over, and uh, you can then delete the students that are on it and add new ones uh, however you need to with that. And it'll be underneath this one, my meetings or my roster, something like that, is where uh, it'll, it'll let you change out the students as well. There's the manual way as well. If you go into the My Meetings tab, you can go in there and you can manually put in the name of the meeting, which that's just whatever you want to call it, because that's like the, actually the name of the roster. Um, and you can type in your meeting ID, so you can just do it the same. You can enter in participants, first name, last name. Uh, if you just want to make some blank uh, templates. I can show you how to do that here in a minute too. Um, you put in the students' names. You this does take a little while to do it this way, but it's a thing you only have to do once. Um, and then you can hit finish, and you can see your meeting. There's some other stuff down here. Kind of tells you a little bit about it, which are some things that I kind of already showed you. Ah, and then the last thing is this: the meeting records. This is a pretty nice feature um, that. At the end of the meetings, if you want to, you don't have to go into Zoom to find these things. You can see when students joined and left uh, all throughout inside of here. It's a pretty useful uh, step. And here on the left, you've got these buttons, this one. The second one uh, lets you see your current rosters. And the last one is uh, the records. So if you come in here, I can actually open up this meeting. It'll tell me uh, who joined when, when they left, all of that in this case. Um, and then, but it only shows you that when the meeting is done, so it doesn't show you for meetings in progress. That was one of my test ones before. And if you wanted to, you can go ahead and make some different rosters like this. Now, for example, if you wanted to make, I don't know, make a blank one for seventh period from the same meeting, you could just come in here, uh, 
copy this, copy the Zoom ID number out of here, um, and then I think it's over here. Add a roster. Oh, there it is. You click right here. Then you could just say, I don't know, like seventh all students. Uh, put the number in there, and if you want to fill it out manually, you can actually just delete this entry. You'll have a, a meeting with no people in it. And then when you actually go to select your meeting, that one will show up in here, seventh all students. And you'll see that it's just blank. So everybody shows up as not enrolled in it. And if you just hit update roster and hit finish, then all of those students that are currently logged in will be added to that roster. This way you can like uh, make different copies and fill one up with maybe only the A-Day students, only the B-Day students, uh, or all of your students if you, if you need that. This has been a really useful tool for me. Uh, I hope that you find it useful as well. All right, so just sort of to wrap things up, uh, I found this website to be very useful for me, helping take something that was originally or used to be kind of a headache and uh, make it pretty straightforward. Um, this product or this website was made by, I think, some high school students. Um, and so, you know, they're not making any money off it. It's free. Uh, so if you use it and you like it, you might want to consider uh, donating a little bit to them. You can click this little, you know, buy them a coffee thing there. Uh, I would suggest that you might want to give that a try just to support these people and uh, help cover some of their costs in this case. Um, Anyway, hope this was a helpful video for you.